Oh my gosh, you guys. It is like t midnight. It's 12 a.m. on a Friday night and I literally hear people screaming outside. Like, I don't know what they're doing, partying or something. Um, it's like actually kind of warm out in Calgary, so I feel like they're just having a good time. But I'm so excited to show you. I'm making traditional Raki tea. I'm gonna be doing my night routine. And it's also just inspired me to talk about um, just the goals for this year because, you know, we wanna stay on the prize and this might sound mean, but like while other people are wasting their days away, sorry if you party, but like <laughs> we can get on track and we can get things done. I really did not want to make this video today. Like I'm not even going to lie guys, but I was like, you know what? Let me show up for my channel. <sighs> Let me listen to myself and actually make a post every single day. You know, sometimes it can just be so, I don't know why I just feel sick today. I feel like not the vibes. So I didn't make a video yet. That's why. Mm. I didn't run either, but it's fine. I'm gonna show you guys I'm making traditional Raki tea. You're gonna love it. First thing I'm gonna do is get my hair the heck out of the way. We're just gonna brush it. It's gotten so long. Switch to the Manuka Honey Shea Moisture line, guys, by the way. If anybody wants to know a great line. And we're gonna do the, um, what is it called? The high frequency through our hair. It's gotten super long, hey? But yeah, it's crazy out there. And I was also thinking like, I might do a series Another part of the video I want to do is like habits, um, my 2024 habits, things I'm going to make sure that I implement so that this can be a year that I'm proud of and actually can look back on and be like, wow, I accomplished so much. Elevate me financially, physically, spiritually, all my relationships. I want to just like, I want this to be a crazy year. I don't know if you guys believe in numerology. I don't even know if I do just comes up on my For You page sometimes. And people will always talk about, oh, it's an eight year, like 2024 year of the dragon, I don't know. But either way, it's time to just like focus on our, our vibe. So if you're on the same frequency, on the same vibe as me, you wanna get things done, you don't wanna be wasting your life away, don't forget to subscribe. So this is the high frequency wand. I don't know if you can see the blue light coming out of it. Let me turn it up. But, we're using the first attachment. This is obviously the comb attachment. It kind of moves a little bit. Kind of moves a little bit, but we're gonna go through our hair. So let me push it back. Push it so it's easy. There we go. And this kills all the bacteria, allows blood flow to stimulate to that area and just let your hair be thick and super healthy. But yeah, like I feel like it's something to do with I already had a hard, such a hard life already. Like, I don't really talk about it a lot on here, but um, I basically lived in the Middle East for like two years. My father passed away in a crazy way that I can't really talk about too much on here. Um, but yeah, no, I just had a crazy life. You know, we were living in shelters and sometimes we were living, I just, I went to so many schools. I went to like nine schools before I was done high school. And I feel like just, seeing so much of the world and seeing so much so many different people and having to grow up so fast it makes you realize like it just doesn't give you an option like i can't do certain things and genuinely enjoy it in a way in the way that i think maybe somebody 22 years old my age um would be able to i feel like it kind of having such a crazy life and especially when you have immigrant parents like on top of all the hardships they need your help so you need you're helping them with so much like you're helping them with the housing, you're helping them figure everything out. Like, especially my mom was on her own after that, you know? So it was just crazy. Um, and then also just being from a Middle Eastern background. Like I, I just feel like you don't even want to do stuff like that because they treat you like a woman at such a young age. Like there was already discussions about me getting married, blah, blah, blah. And I was, uh, I was 15. So to a Western culture person, that would be, that's like such a crazy thing that I was 15, but it was very normal where I came from. In fact, they were like, what are you gonna do? Wait till you're 18? Like, that's expiration date. I swear guys, I'm sorry. It's low key how they talk. They're like, you're not gonna have much time past the age of 19, girl. Like, you gotta get your ring on your finger. But, I would not trade my life for the world because it made me so motivated and driven. And I feel like so many people are just floating through life. Like really when you observe it, especially around this age, so many people are just floating through life. They're trying to 
just feel get their self-confidence from external factors they're just trying to just have fun in the moment they're not even thinking about like two three four five years from now not everybody but i don't know just take a look around i think also um even though i wouldn't recommend anybody to get married young but getting married young just makes things easy for you because it's like as long as it's a good person it's like box checked you don't have to worry about that and that's such a big part of life is checking that box like you know people are looking for their soulmate so much energy is taken into dating so if if you're a young girl watching this i would say do not even worry about guys unless you're ready to date till marriage like don't just date for fun especially if you live in the west it's, i know it's so common but i promise you it's a useless waste of your time once you start dating date for marriage and that's it once you're married you guys are literally a team and your spouse i mean as long as you marry a good person um, your spouse will want the best for you because it's the best for them because if they have the best wife then that means something about them You know what I mean? So it's just like in their best interest Like obviously I would want the best thing for my husband because it would mean that it's gonna be the best thing for me You know what I mean? Like so even if you're just like low-key evil about like in that way Down to the bones you want the best thing for you. Let's be honest here. Do all of your friends want the best for you? No, they don't. I promise you they don't like you might think they do you might be living in that Delulu world, but they don't. They want, maybe they want you to do well, but they don't want you to be doing so much better than them that they feel envious. I mean, I guess it can be true for some partners, but it's just not gonna be the same if it's your husband. Because if my husband is successful, then by default, I'm successful with him. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, let's think about like Jeff Bezos. His wife, ex-wife is literally bawling out now. That's not a good example. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're just we're doing our skincare. We're just ranting, little rant, FaceTime style rant. I don't know what you guys think. Like, also, I don't think I'm right about everything. Like, I accept that I am 22 years old and I'm young and I don't know what I'm talking about all about a lot of things. But I think I have seen more than most people. I definitely do. And I can't talk about the details just out of respect for my family, but. I've definitely had a crazier than normal life, for sure. Like, I feel like a lot of people say that, oh, I've been through things, so I don't like to say it, but I've just seen more than the average person has seen. And I just feel like I'm gonna use that information to my benefit, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna cry about it or be a victim about it. Um, I'm just gonna be grateful that I actually got to grow up fast because you don't have that long on this earth. So you might as well absorb as much information as you can and you know what I mean? Like have as much fun with it like, and use it to your advantage and figure out what you want out of it. So I don't really mind. And I'm not like sad about it at all that I had a lot of things that happened to me that were, might've been perceived as negative or didn't have like a like a, a good happy-ish family. I think it was more serious vibes. But yeah, anyway, that's just my like little two cents end of the day it doesn't really matter too much because obviously everybody can do whatever they want there we go. but one thing that I have been doing since 2021 and it's something I got off a Grant Cardone book and what he does is in the morning every day and in the night you take a little notebook notepad I still have my notepads from 2021 and you write down 10 things, 10 goals that you want out of this world, you want out of your life, or you want to accomplish as if they already happened. So what's a good example is, like obviously I don't have this yet, but I would write, I am so grateful for my dream house, my lakefront dream house with a walk-in luxury closet and a beautiful view of the sunset. Like that's a good example of something that you could write. Or I'm so grateful for my million subscribers on YouTube and to be able to um, you know, have financial freedom through social media to travel the world. That's like a good example. And you write it as if it already happened. Some people think it's crazy. I mean, I think the world is a magical place. We literally live on a floating, like how can you not believe in magic? Think about the reality that we all live in. Realistic people, like that just bugs me. I don't like realistic people. Like, oh, let's be realistic. What's realistic about this life? We're literally magical beings here. Like the fact that we're even here, none of this makes sense on a floating rock, the, the solar, the, from the solar system to the, down to the molecular matter that makes us who we are. It's just a magical world. Like how is this even real? 
So when people don't believe in magic, when people don't believe that any of this stuff works, I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. Even I think that about atheists. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. How could you be an atheist? Look, think about the magic. Okay, the Big Bang Theory. What caused it to happen? Like the law of uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It doesn't even make sense. So then how did it come in the first place? I don't know, but if you're smarter than me, you can please let me know, educate me. But it just doesn't make sense to me, guys. It's the guy upstairs. I'm just kidding. The guy upstairs. It's got, okay? So anyway, that's just my personal. But let me show you that little chai and then I'm probably just gonna go to sleep. I have always loved, like literally since I was five, it's probably not good for you, but a great cup of chai. I use a loose leaf tea. You can see like a little bit of leaves in there because I don't have a sifter. And I get it from an Arabic store. Um, this is like OG Iraqi tea. It smells, you can't use bag tea, guys. You know what it's like, a good example that I can explain to you guys is if you ever went to Asia or like anywhere but the West and you had the fruit there, like somewhere where the fruit actually grows there. Like if you are Arab or you're from a different country, Jamaica, I don't know. If you're from somewhere where they actually grow their fruit there and then you have the Canadian fruit, you're like, oh my God, this tastes like water. Literally tastes like water. Like apples and peaches and pears in Canada taste like water. And then when you go to the Middle East or you go to Asia or anywhere else, it tastes like candy. Not all the time. It's just, that's the same thing about loose leaf and bag tea. You guys cannot have, trust me, get some loose leaf tea and you're going to, it's going to change your life. It's literally going to change your life. I can literally do a tea tutorial, how to make proper racket tea. It's so hot. It's burning my hand, but let's try it. Oh. Maybe it's just like a nostalgia thing for me too. I just love it, but probably not good for you because this is racket tea and it has caffeine in it. But yeah, like I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that my habits are right. That's why I wanted to get this video out there and done, even though I really, like I'm so proud of myself for just getting this little night routine out here. You guys don't even know. I was not feeling it. But especially when, even when it comes to running, it's just about getting it done, guys, and doing it when you don't want to do it. If you can just do it when you don't want to do it, then that's half the battle because the days that you're motivated are gonna, it's gonna flow anyway. And I don't know, like, I mean, I don't like the whole weird boomer talk about like, oh yeah, like Gen Z and whatever, whatever. But it's, I mean, just the one thing is like, yeah, this generation just does have it a little bit easier. Yes, that is true. So if you can be the type of person that's extremely disciplined, we have so many opportunities at our fingertips, guys. I promise you. Like, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Just try. If there's something you want to do, just, I promise you, dedicate every single day to it for like a year or two. And you're going to see it's going to change. Like, you're going to realize just how close everything you want is. But this is like a rant to you guys. But this is low-key just me talking to myself. So if it resonated with you, then it did. If not, then don't even worry about it, guys. Um, have a great rest of your night, and I hope you guys all have a good sleep. Bye, everybody.